There's a device that I've been using called a Whoop. Hello, and welcome back to iGAO3. Field correspondent Dan here at the local high school football field to introduce weekly challenge number six, the full send FPV, power loop, and Immelman. For this week's challenge, you just need to find any obstacle that you can fly both under and over like these uprights here. Your obstacle can be anything, any size, and located anywhere. I chose these uprights as an example again for all the same reasons that we did in week number four. It's located in a nice open area with soft ground so you have a minimal chance of breaking or losing your whoop. Now let's head back to Dan and Liz in iGAO Studios to break down this week's challenge. Thanks, Phil Correspondent Dan. This week's sponsor, Full Send FPV, always makes me smile because of the fun times I've had flying there, as well as the amazing owners, Chris and Dave. I first met Dave at Utopia 2020. He was so nice and I had a blast hanging out with him and everybody else and getting to know a large portion of the race community. After that, we kept in touch through races and things, and then with Whoop Wars Denver, I got to see him again and also meet Chris in person. They're a couple of great guys. If you're ever at Full Send and you wonder to yourself, which one of these people is Dave? Just look for the person with the giant light up LED unicorn horn on their goggles. I still need to get one of those from you, Dave. Full Send FPV is one of the only locations across the country that has indoor space dedicated to Whoop racing year round. As our sport continues to grow, I hope that every city eventually has a location like Full Send, where people of all types are welcomed with open arms into the local Whoop community. I know that Chris and Dave and the whole team at Full Send will be an important resource for other clubs and organizations that look to replicate their success in the future. Also check out Full Send FPV on social media where they regularly make cool posts and live stream their local races. The Full Send FPV website carries various drone parts and they also offer services like drone repairs. And they're going to be coming out with their very own line of bind and fly drones aimed at beginners soon. I can't wait until I get to go to Full Send again. And if you're a Woot pilot, you need to go there at least one time in your life. Now, let's jump in the requirements for weekly challenge number six, the Full Send Power Loop and Immelman. Requirement number zero is that your video can be no longer than 60 seconds and you must follow all the iGAO3 posting rules. Requirement number one is that you must find or set up an obstacle that you can fly both under and over. It can be anything, any size, anywhere. And you can use different obstacles and clips for requirement number two and three. Requirement number two is that you must perform at least one Immelman. This is done by going out to fly, finding a stray cat, bringing him home, and then naming him after the trick. <laughs> We're just kidding. So an Immelman is done by flying underneath an obstacle, then pitching back while increasing your throttle until you are inverted and flying back over the top of the obstacle, then Rolling back to level, you must finish the maneuver flying in the opposite direction and at a higher altitude than when you started. When you think about it, the Immelman is actually just the opposite of a split S. You may even have done an Immelman on accident before because it's a good way to bail out of a power loop where you haven't given yourself enough backward momentum. Which leads me right into requirement number three. You must perform at least two back-to-back -back power loops. To complete this requirement, you must start by flying underneath the obstacle, and then pitch back and throttle up so you loop back over the obstacle while back flipping, then catch yourself and repeat by again flying under the obstacle to complete your first power loop and start your second power loop. Then again loop back up and over the obstacle while inverted, then f finally complete the second loop by flying under the obstacle for a third time. You must complete the second loop by flying under the obstacle to complete requirement number three. Remember, whenever there's a challenge involving a loop, you must go under the obstacle a second time in order to complete it unless it has been otherwise stated. For part of the Full Send FPV week, Dave wanted to include one of his iconic obstacles. 
So this week, we will be holding a $10 bonus challenge involving the missile launcher. The missile launcher was an obstacle during Whoop Wars Denver that's very similar to a uh, window pane gate where you have four entrances, but instead of it just being a thin pane, it's actually extended out a little bit and it's got a slight up tilt. The first few times I flew through it, I had some issues because I wasn't accustomed going through a tunnel up at an angle. But after a while, I got it down and it quickly became a really fun obstacle. I agree. It was my favorite obstacle at Whoop Wars Denver because it was really cool to look at and fun to fly through. Don't worry, you don't have to build an exact replica of the missile launcher. You're just going to need a window pane which has four square gates in one plane. And each of the squares can have a minimum side length of 16 inches up to a maximum of 36 inches, which was the actual size of the missile launcher at Whoop Wars Denver. This bonus challenge combines what Full Send is known for, racing, and this week's featured maneuver, the power loop. The winner will be the fastest to complete two laps, or eight total power loops. If you're looking at the window pane from the front and you think of it uh, with the windows numbered like the motors uh, on your drone, one, two, three, four, you're going to start the start-finish gate in the top right with gate number two, loop down to gate number one, over to gate number three, and then up to gate number four, and then the fourth loop would be back to gate number two, and that's one lap. So that's four total loops, and you have to do two laps for a total of eight loops. Whoever does that fastest will win the bonus challenge. Here's a quick example of what I'm talking about. that in my submission, but I will be practicing my power loops because they are something that I've wanted to get better at. This week you'll have to perform one of FPV's most recognizable moves, as well as a move that shares its name with a pretty cool cat. Good luck and happy whooping. Where did you put pretty cool in there? I called him a really cool cat and you downgraded him <laughs> to a pretty cool cat? Oh, Emelman. Same fucking thing. Emelman. You may have... <laughs> so funny. You may even have done it in a moment on accident. Because it's a good moment. Your voice is cracking like a teenage boy. You may even have done an Immelman on accident before because it's a good way to bail out of a power whoop. <laughs> if you've been shrunken down on the magic school bus and are riding on one. 
<laughs> Requirement number three, you must perform at least two back-to-back -back power loops. Where'd your hand go up for? <laughs> I was gonna put up the number two for power loops, and then you didn't do it, so I was like, shit. Why would we put up two for power loops? I don't know. I was so confused. All right, let's just do it again. <laughs> Number and so I wanted to put my hand up. You pavloved me. <laughs> and action. I can't wait until the next time I get to go to Full Send. And I highly recommend that if you're in the Denver area, that you search it out too. <laughs> you're not supposed to reveal until we say a moment. Immelman with an Immelman.